It's the basement waste disposal plant. If this area uh, sounds familiar, we've actually been here before. This is the area that was linked to Jolly Rogers Lagoon that was pouring the toxic waste into the uh, pig's pool. Anyhow, there's a new jam jar silo here for 525 notes. Snooze Pack. When you're feeling rather low, I know a place that you can go. Z followed by right C removes your pack. Have a nap to get energy back. That'll be all. Dismissed. So this is a really weird move. You can do Z followed by right C. And Benjo will literally take a nap and it will like quickly refill his uh, missing health. And believe it or not, this actually does have utility to let you reach areas that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Believe it or not. Anyhow, this is an interesting area. What does this switch do? This switch fills up the pool with even more toxic waste. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Oh, and that leads over to the other side that has a solo banjo switch and a jiggy inside. Interesting. If we look back here... Jolly Rogers Lagoon Pipeline. We went from here in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. That little area in there is filled with its water. And if you'll remember... Okay, that's the toxic goo. And it'll follow us around and try to deplete our air if it's uh, inside of this. Yeah, that pool that pool of water in there, we swam in there from Jolly Rogers Lagoon, and it had the, the one Jinjo inside. And you'll remember that I mentioned that that Jinjo actually applied to this world and not to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So if we look here, we already have one of the Jinjos in the world, even though we have not picked up any since entering this world. That's the one Jinjo we picked up from Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Don't wait for me, you stupid dust cloud. Wow, does it just never disappear? I actually don't remember. Then there's a pipeline over here. It's a different one. Hailfire Peaks Oil Pipeline. Well, you gotta get your oil from somewhere, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything inside there. That's interesting. We haven't seen that yet. Anyhow, there's this toxic goop here, and then there's a jiggy inside that, uh, like, crystal case over there. You'll remember we saw that again when we peeked in through the window from the Jolly Rogers Lagoon waste disposal turnoff area. Unfortunately, hitting this, uh, toxic pool will warp us back here. Yeah, uh, Solo Banjo can't do anything to cross that yet. Also, I don't think there is any way out of here other than to step on this uh, split-up pad, summon Solo Kazooie back here, and use the springy step shoes in order to hop out. Wunderbar. Can we even get Solo Kazooie in here? Well, at the very least, Solo Kazooie can use the Claw Climber boots, and we can so show these off. We can use them to climb up these footprint walls. Press B to uh, make them go away. Here we go. Then we can do a jump hover on top of here. That's how you're going to need to get Solo Kazooie inside. They're not stuck. <laughs> Nice to see you again, Kazooie! Yeah, you too, Banjo. Spadoosh! There we go. Now we can get them out of here. I really just wanted to go in there to get the snooze pack and to kind of show the area off. There's more stuff we can do in there eventually, but... As of right now, outside of sequence breaking, we can't actually do anything in there. We're not supposed to be able to do anything in there anyways. So that leads back to the train station. So at this point, I believe we can use the split-up pads and send just Solo Banjo into the trash compactor, and with his new snooze pack ability, we can actually do stuff in there. 
And at that point, that's pretty much everything we can do for floor one. Wait a second, hang on, does that have a face? Oh. Ugh. That's the tragic compactor, but the two... Rude, I'm trying to show off the fact that with the the entrance to the trash compactor looks like a mouth, and then those two gauges look like an eye, so it's just like... Bleh. It's actually kind of frightening. Can you let me inside here? Okay, and doing that will cause this crusher to crush us, which will reduce our HP to 1, similar to the Stompadon and the Stomping Blades. There we go. So we can let this crush us. Run to this side. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we screwed up. We dead. Ouch. Banjo got crushed like a piece of trash. That's rough, buddy. Anyway, let's try it again. <laughs> do you do you hate me or something, Artie? <laughs> no, Banjo. I just want to I really want to get the jiggy that's in here. It's going to be our first jiggy for the level when we've been in here for quite a while. I don't think you actually need the, like, the jump pack whack trick. I think you can just run on through. Yeah. So then there's this convenient little area over here that we can run away from the conveyor belt and take a convenient little nap here. Right, then we run on through here. And push the solo banjo switch. That'll open up that little area that we were just at. <laughs> Leading us to a jiggy. Sorry, Banjo. And there we go. That's our first jiggy of Grunty Industries. And definitely won't be our last, but the jiggies do take a long time to grab in this world. Yeah, you can really start seeing the difference between Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie now. The worlds are enormous, and the Jiggies take a very long time to get in comparison to Banjo-Kazooie 1, where, uh, you, they were just lying out for you to pick up. Not really the case anymore. Anyhow, so we've at this point explored everything we can in Floor 1 for now. So we're gonna take the claw coin from Boots as Banjo and Kazooie. Walk up the wall, because we really, really didn't get to explore up here. I was too busy trying to get back to the waste disposal plant. So there's an area in there. We can also use the shock jump discs to reach high up here. There's a pipe up here. Which can give us some egg refills if we need them. There are also some musical notes down here. I'm gonna pick those up because, you know, extra notes, they count towards the percent. I love how the four different boots you get in this, or shoes, actually like have like genuine- they play the same melody but with different instruments. It's really great. I love it. Anyhow, you might not be able to see it very well, but there is a shock jump disc inside of here. If we use it, we'll bounce all the way up to floor two. Aw oh, yeah, we finally made it to the second floor, boys and girls. Here's the service elevator, but again, we can't actually take that. Hmm, floor two has this eerie green light. Oh, hey, it's Wumba's Wigwam! Oh no, my gosh, there's actually a warp pad for us. But we don't have a globo for her, so that's a little interesting. We can grenade egg that great open. take us to also just a floor two. We'll blow up in this other crate, and where are we now? Okay, this is another area that needs a battery. This is the electromagnet chamber. We saw a part of that from the elevator, didn't we? And wow, we are above this fiend of toxic waste. This does not look fun. Hey, there's a battery there, though. So thank goodness there's a battery uh, in the area. That area leads outside, and there's a Cheeto page in there. We can't actually reach that yet. 
No, no, no. Try to sneak up on me, huh? That Jinjo's too high up for us. We could shoot a clockwork egg up there, but I want to show off the intended way of dealing with him. Alright, let's split up Banjo and Kazooie, because Solo Banjo needs to get that battery. No! Ouch. Can I high jump up there? Doggone it. Can I do a double jump up there? Yes, I can! Haha, <laughs> jump pack, whack jump. Excellent. Alternatively, you could have grip grabbed on the ledge if I hadn't been a dummy and fallen off. Shoot! Get in here, you stupid battery. We're gonna power up the electromagnet chamber. Yeah, so this is an area filled with toxic goop. There are a couple grates, and then you're supposed to be able to climb this pipes! Yeeps! Let's avoid the electric phrase. Alright, Electromagnet Chamber is over this way. Additional battery power channel to door access is now granted. So we could just merge the two together and then go over that way. However, I'm going to explore this area as Solo Kazooie. Ouch. We gotta find some claw clamber boots for her. Oh hey, claw clamber boots! Walk past the living pile of toxic waste. No, that's literally what he is, I'm not being mean. The reason we're taking Solo Kazooie over here is because there's a jam jar silo and we need 545 notes and this is a Solo Kazooie move. Leg sprain. Want this one? I think you might. It greatly increases your jumping height. Hold down Z and then press A. Bend your legs and be on your way. That'll be all. Dismissed. So that's all the moves on Grunty Industries. So this gives Kazooie a super high jump that she can do. It's basically like the normal high jump, but without Banjo weighing her down. She can go a lot higher. I'm not really sure why she needed to learn this move, but okay. You can also do hover followed by an attack to increase your uh, hover distance, which is pretty nice. You also remember there's that Jinjo over there? Well, while you can shoot a clockwork out up there, you're supposed to be the live screen. That's our fifth blue Jinjo. Excellent. All right, now we'll go over there and help out Banjo. All right, let's take a look inside this electromagnetic chamber. I'm curious to see what it's all about. Floor two, electromagnet chamber. Danger, high voltage. Well, I mean, low voltage isn't much fun now, is it? Sensors indicate insufficient weight to activate switch. Sorry, Banjo, you're gonna have to eat more extra, <laughs> extra large pepperoni pizzas from Marcos if you if you want to weigh that down. <laughs> yeah, Banjo's not actually fat enough to be able to push that down, and even if we do ground pounds or bill drills or shoot grenade eggs at it, it's where we can't pu uh, push the switch down. We'll have to find another way. Hey, stupid! So here is the entrance to the floor two elevator. Uh, with the door that's closed. We can push that switch with a rat attack rat or a prequel bash. And now we have unlocked this area so we can take the elevator shaft as a shortcut to floor two if we want. That's one of the nice things about Grunty Industries. Even if it's like mostly walled off from you at the beginning, as you start to unlock stuff, you'll have multiple different ways of quickly accessing different floors. Like you can use the regular ele elevator, eventually we can use the service elevator. We have the warp points. I mean, we have Chuffy as well, but that doesn't, that's not exactly the same. The interior music here is just so chill, I love it. Anyhow, if we go back to this room, there's a bunch of fragile boxes we can destroy. Down to floor one? Sure, let's see what this is all about. back in floor one. There's a window here that lets us see the other side. You'll remember this is where we grabbed those musical notes that I had to jump down for. 
And this is the fire exit. We push the switch here. It'll open this special door that's outside. Now, we didn't actually explore this area, and I'm not sure if we actually could reach this area outside, but it is a new outdoor area. Let's check it out. I think, I think you can, um... I think you can technically reach this area through damage boosting, but I didn't. Anyhow, it's a fire exit that leads outside. At least Grunty, at least Grunty has fire safety. I appreciate that. Hey, dude. Ooh, what does this do? That opens up a door up there, and there's a pink Jinjo behind it. However, we have to hold it down, meaning we'll need to split Banjo and Kazooie up in order to do that. Because, of course, we do. There's Claw Clamber Boots back here. That's interesting. There's a bunch of vines over there. Oh my gosh, I saw the green monster for a second. He's like, ho oh, ho, you're going to fall in. Okay, if we go all the way over here, there's a secret al alcove back here with a worker here. Please find a way of getting my overalls clean. Man, he was too ashamed to even come into work. He's hiding in the woods. No wonder your overalls are dirty. You're hiding out in the mud while it's raining. I thought that was a mean joke, because I think we've collected the one and only white Jinjo in the game. Yeah, so this is one of the walls. I think this is the wall we saw on the side closest. Yeah. That's the pipe that we landed on. And this is the wall on this side that was blocking us from doing anything. Well, we unlocked the Claw Clamber Boots, and there's a way of, uh, way of climbing up the wall with them over here, so let's let's see what that's all about. I actually think that there are several different ways of exploring and unlocking new areas. There's not just one way you have to do it, there are a bunch of different ways you can slowly open them. Which I like that! Going from floor 1 to floor 2 is pretty much, like, set in stone required. Jinjo, I know you're on the other side of that, but I can't reach you yet. Actually, I think you can glitch to reach it, if you want. Oh, man. Oh, is there nothing else we can do? I actually don't think there's anything else we can do. However, this is a way of showing off. Okay, well, you actually can walk down these, but it can be kind of hard to actually trigger the hitbox, and if you have fallproof, you really don't need to anyway, so... Alright. Well, we're gonna have to split Banjo-Kazooie up to do that, I'm pretty sure. Notes. That door looks a little cracked, don't it? I'm trying to stop hitting me. I'm trying to use a grenade. Oh, that actually won't, won't destroy it. Okay. Does this lead back to Wumba's Wigwam? It does. We still don't even have the globe! Oh, darn. Let's, let's not have to deal with the evil beehive today, shall we? This doesn't lead to the toxic goop room, I don't think. No, oh, this is a different one. Man, he's not dropping health for me. I, that's a little rude. Just a little bit rude. 
Claw Climber boots, I'm game. If I can actually find something to Claw Climber up. A battery? That's interesting. I haven't seen any doors in need of power. Ah! And that's the danger of the action stop honeycombs in the later worlds, because they go just too fast. Here we go. They were hidden in the wall. Alright, we gotta be extra careful, though. <laughs> and I die. Wonderful. Is this gonna spawn me back at the flippin' train station again? It totally is, isn't it?